This is a Singer 457, made in the late 60s or early 70s. Really in decent shape overall. Uh, one issue that I have with it, and that's the reason I'm selling it for repair parts, is I can't get the uh, top thread to pick up the bottom thread. It works when you're pulling up the bottom thread uh, before you sew, but once you get fabric in there and start sewing, could be something very obvious that I'm missing. Um, can't say I'm the brightest person, so, um, but I think uh, maybe someone else will have more luck with it. Comes with the manual, uh, comes with the foot pedal, and um, does some neat things. The control panel area here is a little bit faded, as you'll see. You adjust the stitch width here, needle position, the length of the stitch, uh, the on, uh, off for the, for the bobbin winder, and then uh, some patterns here. And if you use these three features together, you can do some in interesting stitches. Um, on, off for the light. Light works, uh, and as you'll see, uh, the machine itself works. So it could be that there's an issue with the timing, and that's why the top and, and bottom thread uh, don't connect, but it does work. I'm gonna adjust this so you can see that the needle position works. That's right, that's center, that's left. Uh, just the only issue that I'll show you in the next video is connecting the, the bottom and the, and the top thread. All right, I'm going to show you how it will uh, drop the needle with the, the thread in the needle and pick up the bobbin thread. Uh, just so you know, the, uh, the bobbin thread gets wound through this little notch here on the outside edge, comes up through here, and then you just leave a little bit of a tail coming up by the plate. Not sure why that's up, but uh, that's how you do it. And you'll see that if I do this right, the, the white thread will go down, pick up the dark thread. All right, so you can see the dark thread there. Use my son's knife to pull them both up. So that works like it should. And so I thought that that would tell me that the timing is right, but once you actually sew, the bottom and top thread don't connect. So that's the, the issue I'm running into. So I'll show you now how it works when it sews. All right, got some fabric loaded in here and I'll be able to show you how it, how it works or should say how it doesn't work. Thing, as you can see, it's just not connecting the top and the bottom thread. So uh, certainly something that I'm, I'm missing. So that's, that's the machine. And if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, uh, hopefully someone can uh, fix this and buy this machine for repair or parts.